Bueno, me voy a ir con un... Con buena mierda, me voy con buena mierda. Miren. Este tipo que, está, que les voy a poner ahora se llama Casey Neistat. Este tipo fue por el que yo empecé a hacer YouTube. Y hoy lo quería traer porque muchas veces me preguntan sobre cómo empezar en YouTube, qué hacer. Yo eh, empecé con Casey. Casey es un progre de mierda, para quienes no lo sepan. Pero es uno de los tipos que más duro trabaja en YouTube. Es uno de los tipos que me enseñó a tomarme YouTube como una profesión. Eh, y de verdad que aprendí muchísimo, muchísimo, muchísimo de él. Si alguien quiere aprender a ser youtuber, yo creo que tiene que verse sobre todo el año en el que Casey Neistat hizo un video diario. Ese año entero. Tienes que verte todos los vlogs que hizo. Son 360 vlogs, te los tienes que ver enteros. Si tú quieres ser youtuber, tú tienes que aprender de este tipo. Vuelvo y repito, es un progre de mierda con el que yo no estoy de acuerdo en muchas cosas, pero es el mejor blogger del mundo. Seguro asegurado. Sí o sí. Le voy a poner un video nada más de él para que, para que vean... Porque para mí es un puto genio, eh? tipo, es un animal. When you compromise and you fail, it really hurts. It hurts even more than failing at what you love. Este tipo pone la cámara en el medio de la calle, hace cosas increíbles, bro. Aprendí una banda con él. Ah, mierda, no estaba reproduciendo el video, mala mía. <laughs> una cagada. Pero bueno, no importa. Hasta aquí no ha dicho nada importante. So today's episode in its entirety is going to be dedicated to era de tu cara PD no se ve. Mala mía. One subject and one subject only, and that is the subject of excuses. Y este fue uno de los videos que a mí me me ayudó muchísimo. El blog sobre las excusas. Excuses are exactly like assholes. Everybody's got them, but nobody wants to hear about yours. This is you, and here are your dreams and aspirations and all that stuff. What stands between you and you? Las cosas de Casey Neistat, boludo. Es, es un maldito genio, boludo. Are obstructions. What you have to overcome to achieve your dreams. ¿Qué tienes que superar para conseguir, o de alguna manera, lograr tus sueños, lograr cumplir tus metas o tus sueños? When I think back about my own obstructions when I got that iMac, I think of the fact that I had dropped out of high school, I had no education to fall back on. I think about the fact that I knew nothing about the very thing that I was aspiring to pursue, my dream. I knew nothing about filmmaking. Those were some of the gigantic obstructions between me and any realization of my ambition. They were obstructions, but they weren't excuses. Would you welcome Jim Carrey? Jim. My name is Jim Carrey. I'd like to do some impressions for you tonight. Jim Carrey, one of the greatest American comedians ever, one of my absolute idols. Jim Carrey, uh, Jim Carrey's dad. Jim Carrey's dad wanted to be a, a comedian. My father was not only the funniest man in the room, and before I was born, he had an orchestra in Toronto. But, you know, in order to be something special, you had to leave Canada and come down to the States and prove yourself in the States. He was a little bit afraid of that transition and, and also he had a family to take care of, so he became an accountant. And uh, ironically, ultimately, he was fired from his safe job and, and him and his son, Jim Carrey, and the rest of their family, they were homeless. But a lot of people don't know this, but, uh, but when I was about 14 or 15, my father lost his job and I actually became homeless for quite some time. Jim Carrey, the movie star. Homeless es gente sin hogar, o sea, se quedaron sin techo. Jim Carrey eh, se quedó sin techo. Homeless. His obstructions were those things, like being dirt poor, his dad not having a job, the fact that Jim Carrey had to drop out of school when he was 15 to work as a janitor, the fact that Jim Carrey was homeless with his family living out of a car. Those were Jim Carrey's obstructions, but they weren't his excuses. Excuses are the obstructions that become the reasons for you abandoning your dreams. Despite those obstructions, he still overcame all of them to chase down his dream and become one of the most successful comedians in the history of comedy. Each obstruction that is not overcome becomes an excuse. Importante esta parte, ¿no? Eh, cada excusa o cada obstáculo que tú no puedas superar se convierte en una excusa. Y si todo lo que tienes entre tú y tus sueños son excusas, pues... 
And these excuses no vas a llegar. Take the place of your dreams. And then... lo, de, lo de Casey es impresionante porque él hace que la música coincida con, con cada cambio de cámara, boludo. Es una cosa que es de loco, boludo. El trabajo que pone Casey Neste en los vlogs es de loco, boludo. Es de loco. Are you and your excuses. So today on the show, I want to introduce you to somebody who I'm a huge fan of, somebody who I draw tremendous amounts of inspiration from, somebody who had greater obstructions than I could ever imagine, obstructions that make, um, you know, being broke or not having education seem meaningless. Someone who's really chased down all of his dreams. Let me let me list some of his accolades. He's a best-selling author. He had his own TV show that I think he wrote and directed. He's friends with huge Hollywood movie stars like. Russell Crowe and you know big movie stars. You know he's been on the red carpet of the Oscars. The most famous red carpet in the world. When he was a kid, he wanted to be an action movie star, and he had a, he had a major role in one of the greatest action movies ever made. An action movie that won a movie that won six Academy Awards. A movie that made 378 million dollars in the box office. He is by all means someone who had a bunch of dream, had a bunch of dreams, had a lot of obstructions. And I've never, ever, ever heard make an excuse. There he is! Ah, it's good to see you, Quinn. Good to see you, buddy. It's been a while. Este es un tipo que, bueno, tienen que verlo. Está en una silla de ruedas. Ya murió ya, por cierto. Ya murió. Murió hace como, no sé. Creo que murió en la pandemia, si no me equivoco, o por ahí. Que ahí sin esta hizo un video el día que murió. Ah, what time is it there? Se le rompían los huesos todo el tiempo, por eso está así en una silla de ruedas. This young man is trying to do what the doctors deemed impossible. Okay, I was born with osteogenesis imperfecta, which is brittle bone disease, which means... Es una enfermedad de los huesos que significa que los huesos se te rompen más fácilmente que, que, que nada, o sea, se te rompen. The one and only Quentin Kenahan. How did you get a part in Mad Max? El tipo, por si no saben quién es, ustedes vieron en la película de Mad Max el que hacía el como el enano que estaba metido y, y que mandaba a la gente y todo eso. Es este tipo, boludo. Es este. Como el de la peli de Glass, exactamente como el de la peli de Glass. One of Australia's favorite characters, who is a filmmaker, producer and disability advocate, now has something else occupying his time. Quentin Kenahan has landed a role in a big budget Hollywood movie. And then I got this call from my manager saying, you know, Matt, you know, George Miller wants to talk to you. Es it. I wanna see. Ya vieron la película, ¿no? Tienen que haber visto Man Max, no me jodan, o sea. Ray right, said so that I am the only disabled person ever in an Academy Award winning film. I love that. Is that title. right? Yeah. The Oscar goes to Mad Max Fury Road, Colin Gibson. I know that I grabbed the, the brass ring in life because there are many others like me that don't have what I have. As in he got lucky and won at life. The, the guy facing the hardships that he has to face, dealing with the, I mean, just his, you know, his own physical disability, for someone to maintain that positive a perspective on life, I think uh, that kind of positivity is probably the most important thing when it comes to making sure your obstructions don't become your excuses. Okay, that's it. I'll see you tomorrow on 368. Bueno, yo me voy para allí y no dejen que sus obstáculos se conviertan en una obstrucción. Los dejo con el mensaje de Casey Neistat. Es mejor 
¡Ay, blogger del mundo! Sin ningún tipo de duda. Lo dejo con ese mensaje y me piro. Me piro para allí, gente. Chao, 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 chao.